The cork is an extremely important component in a bottle of wine, and a good cork is essential if a bottle of wine is going to be kept in a cellar for any length of time. Corks were used in ancient Egypt and in ancient Greece for sealing amphorae, which contained wine and oils. And it wasn't until the 17th century that we see cork being reused again. For some reason, nobody's quite sure, the use of corks just disappeared. Around about the middle of the 17th century, wine bottles were starting to be developed. But you've got to remember, at this stage, the cork was not yet discovered. So with the early wine bottles, what they were doing is they created glass stoppers. Now these glass stoppers were actually ground on the inside of the stopper, and the inside of the neck of the bottle was ground, so they created a glass-to-glass -glass seal. They twisted the stopper and then held it in place by some wire. And that was the technique that was used in the early 17th century. Some time later, the cork had actually appeared, uh, but at this stage, the corkscrew wasn't invented. And so the early wine bottles had their corks a little bit like this. They were partially pushed in, and a part of the cork was left uh, sticking out, so you can either use your fingers to open the bottle, or, in, or alternatively, a good set of teeth, put it between the teeth and pull the cork out. And when the cork was finally invented, and the wine bottle was commercialised and produced en masse, this led to the mass distribution of wines. 